Like what? Like what? Hold on. We need to do that again. Do it again. What was it? Do that. Come on. Give it to us. <laughs> We're gonna work, we need to work on that. To, so uh, this morning was uh, making some notes. We have Wednesday meetings with all of our coaches on improving the value our members receive through improving the coaches mm -hmm. and our skill coaching a 60 minute group training session. So got ready for, made some notes for tomorrow's meeting because I'm leading that one. Nah. So did that, uh, we've got a new, uh, a new coach, mm -hmm. Liz. I know that a lot of members know Liz. She's been a member of the gym for a couple years, but uh, I've been training her, so we just had a meeting for about an hour and debriefed her coaching this morning, debriefed kind of what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week, and then we talked today about uh, body composition scans and programming and all the things that we offer for programming. So just catching her up to speed a little bit each day, and then then I'm coaching a lot today. So, Where's your favorite place to coach? Coyote Fitness. <laughs> this is a good topic because... Um, my comfort zone was uh, Madison when I first started. It's the only place that I knew. It was literally the only Coyote gym. And so the hardest thing about, and I learned this, this is like a life lesson for me, but the hardest thing for me was leaving your comfort zone and being willing to go out to do something else that would end up growing not only that place that you enjoyed, but also uh, spreading like the goal, which is increase, like improving people's quality of life and impacting Mississippi. And the only way we can do it is to leave your comfort zone. If you're in your community all the time, then of course you're gonna think that's the best, but now I've learned that through leaving, we've added, you know, now to our fourth gym, you know, we've added 500 people to that community. So now it's just grown and you have to be willing to leave that in order to, to get to that next level. And so at every stage, you've gotta be willing to do that. So Madison was comfort, left that, even in getting married and asking Sarah to leave her community too and come out to Flowood. And then you're here every day for five years and now I'm stepping into a role where I've gotta to go to our other gyms and, and offer some of the things I've learned to the coaches there. Well, that for me is why Coyote Fitness is the best place to coach. You're always getting these little comfort spots. And of course, Flowood is definitely that place. So? Expecting your first. My first what? Baby? Yeah. <laughs> Baby Wells. We're having a boy. Uh, September, so we're down to 98 days. So uh, double digits on the days. It's We've talked about this a lot. Members ask, of course, they're super nice and you know excited to share and excited for Sarah and I. One of the funny things about that, though, is that for her, like she's already on this journey with him and like has this very intimate relationship with him. And I don't, you know, like I get to like feel him kick. And other than that, it's still very detached. And for her, it's like super intimate. You know, yeah. it's like all day long, she's thinking about that. And for me, I'm like working and things. It's like, it's not real yet. So yeah. I'm excited about that and getting to that stage where she is, where we're gonna be on the same page, you mm -hmm. know, and have that intimacy and that care uh, protection. Like she does so many things, like her eating and her lifestyle and her exercise is all directly influenced by him. Yeah. And mine's not yet, but it will be, you know? <laughs> yeah. It will be when you're yeah. in here working out and you're like, I slept two hours, you know, I'm super tired, taking care of this other person that's dependent on you, uh, dependent on us. And so I'm excited about kind of being able to level up with her and get on that page. Wells. Wells Ray. Yeah, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be wild, man. So excited. I don't, uh, names, like, People always, I feel awkward sharing names because everyone's like, oh, that's so cute. But like, there's nothing you could say where they wouldn't say that. Right. You know. They feel like they're judging like, you in their mind. Yeah. Yeah. His huh? name is, uh, we were th we were talking about this the other day, how like, there's just like names that just sound old. You know, those grandfather names. Ray, Ray is the middle name we chose. It was my uh, granddad's name. We've actually have that name on both sides of the family mm -hmm. uh, or both sides of my family. But it's my middle name, and so kind of an old school. It's kind of an old school name, but we're trying to bring it back. What's some uh, some other old school names? No, there's there's no other ones that there's I. There's not up. one you can think of right now. Uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Man, uh, Frederick, Richard, right. Lionel. Um, you've got Otis. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Edwin. Um, Bridgeforth. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Bridgeforth. Uh, I would say the oldest name that I can think of right now is probably Clyde. Clyde, if you're a Clyde out there, like 
you are 70 plus, you are rocking, rocking khaki pants every day, and you're living your best life. So, Clyde, man, what a name. Uh, let's start at the front door. Come into the gym. Uh, this is uh, this is product area, as you can see. Something we take a lot of pride in. Fridge. We say it again. Best fridge in the game. So uh, once you come in, uh, this is you know with with our fluid location. There's not like a lot of different corners and a lot of different places to go and explore. It really is like one open uh, floor plan. So uh, we come over here, the one area I'd say we got really two places that are a little bit unique. We've got a coach's office in here. Uh, so we'll step in. I know you guys have been in here. This is where we shoot the podcast a lot of times. Uh, this is where we have tours for people. And so you can see when we have people that come in uh, and do tours, we talk with them and help help them see the reason they're in the gym. We know that clients come into the gym uh, not exclusively for toes to bar, but they come in the gym for body change and their their health to change. So that is a uh, that's where this is where we do our tours. Uh, we've got a whiteboard there that allows us to have conversations about the things that people care about outside of the gym, their health. Uh, back here, it's where I have a little desk back here. Well, I, I get in trouble a lot. Tyler, Lauren, Liz, myself, we have a desk back here that we share. This is where we keep a lot of excess product and this is where we keep our own workout stuff. Uh, this is the goat fuel, the water. It's kind of a, um, kind of an everything room. We got the workout floor. Uh, this is our whiteboard. We've got restrooms, showers, all the things that you see all the time. Um, uh, this is how you get a better score in the workout. After the coach writes it up there, then you go up there and grab the marker and you edit your own score, which really, as you can see, Charlie, you know, you really just get to have whatever score you want in the workout uh, because the Sharpies are kept or the, the markers are kept <laughs> for everybody to see. No, we're not calling you out for changing your score at all. We, we don't mean to embarrass you. Uh, of note, you know, this is, you know, Coach Tyler. This right here, this belongs to, this belongs to Coach Tyler. Um, and I don't want to do that again. It is now become like synonymous with the gym is the hole in the wall. You guys ask Coach Tyler about that story. Uh, back here, this is where Keaton learned to do his first pull up where he uh, was able to take my advice in learning to accomplish a whole variety of tasks. Uh, specifically uh, a bar hang, you know. Yeah, I saw those videos, I'm aware. You see all the bland colors in this one? And, I don't know man, this was just, uh, these are decent, these are great. That's kind of all there is to it. A lot of, a lot of mining tails and things are similar, like our workout styles, decent, great, you know how it is. Old, new. Yeah, it hurt, you know, it hurt to see that. His first bar hang, his first kip swing, all of these things happen right back here. So, uh, Keaton, just don't forget where you came from. That's all I'm gonna say. So this concludes the circle. We just walked around the gym. Uh, this was the tour. Uh, share this with your friends and family. They probably wanna see it. We have one room and work gets done here and we're in nothing fancy. A lot of it, and a lot of the reason why you see his shoes so shiny and clean is because he hadn't put in the work. Age that you see on a, you know, the age that you see on a shoe that you just can't hide. You know, when you have shiny shoes, they hadn't been through much. And so that's what I would, uh, that's what I would say to Keaton is, you know, he can talk, he can talk a bigger game when he gets some, uh, get some grease on his hands, get some dirt on his shoes.